brief water in the meantime. All right, so just to make sure that everything is good, I'm gonna do one more quick check. All right, perfect. So the audio is good, everything is good to see. Okay, let's bring it back to the lesson. We have, what is the name of N2Cl4? Name of N2Cl4. So first we have to, as they say, explain what type of bond type this is and the steps we use to name it. So first let's go to the handy periodic table. We have two nitrogens, so that's nitrogen and chlorine. So the first step we have to do, just is to determine the bonds, is say what type of molecule this is, ionic versus molecular. We have nitrogen and chlorine both of which are non-metals, okay? So there's no metals present. Because of that, we can say this is a molecular compound, okay? Well, I think the better name is covalent. Um, ionic versus covalent. Covalent compound, okay? So, with that being said, because it's a covalent compound, it has its own naming rules. And you can actually support that further by if you hover over nitrogen and chlorine, you'd actually see the nitrogen has electronegativity of 3.04, chlorine's electronegativity is 3.16. So in fact, you could say that it's even non-polar bonds between them because of the fact that the electronegativity difference is so small. So this is definitely a covalent compound, okay? So with that being said, okay, we have N2Cl4. To name this, we're just gonna write down simply, right, what we have, nitrogen, chlorine. But we're not done here. The naming rules for this is that first, we still have to go similar to the ionic compounds where we drop the N for chlorine and replace it with I, so nitrogen chloride, okay? But now here's where the biggest difference lies. When it comes to covalent compounds, you have to indicate the amount of, I guess, compounds there are based on the uh, prefixes of, you know, mono, uh, di, di yep, tri, um, tetra, penta, this is one, two, three, four, five, respectively. I'm just gonna use this because it doesn't go past four. So we don't need to know like the six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But just for your reference, six is hexa, seven is hepta, eight is octa, nine is nana, ten is deca. Okay. So for this, we have four chlorides and two nitrogens. So let's add a little bit of space here between them. And we want to be able to fit the tetrachloride here. Okay. And we cannot forget about the nitrogen because there's two of them. It would be di-nitrogen. So this would be the full name for this. We changed the ending from chlorine to chloride. Then we indicated how many of each atom we had with the prefixes. So let's see how we did. N2 Cl4, change the N to ide, di-nitrogen tetrachloride, perfect. Now is on to question number 17. 